Do you have a monkey in your pants? Hi guys, um, today I thought I'd do something a little bit different as such. Um, more for a select market of old console or computer owners, if that makes sense. I'm basically going to show you how to replace your kickstart ROMs in your Amiga 1200. Um, for example, if you had 3.0 ROMs or if you want to upgrade to 3.1 ROMs, for example. Um, the process is quite uh, straightforward, to be fair, but what I'll do, I'll basically tilt the webcam down, um, hopefully we'll get as, as good a view as possible and get a general idea of how it's done, basically. So this is the view. I have got the case open already, just to give you a quick, just to speed things up, basically. But if you take your Amiga, Okay, ignore this, this is my board that's in there. But you've basically got several screws that you need to remove. You've got the three screws along the front, you've got one screw here at the side, you've got another screw here at the side, and you've got two screws back at the top. If you can just see the little screw holes up there, just where my fingers are. So once they're all removed, the rest is pretty straightforward. Um, the front of the Mega you just lift up like so. But what you have to be careful of is you'll only be able to take the Mega out so far because you have this the LED cable, there we go. I'll show you where that connects to. Just let me just put that down to one side. Now that LED, the LED cable connects underneath the keyboard here, so obviously you, you couldn't remove the lid completely, you'd have to flip it to the back until you remove that cable. But to remove the cable, all you would do is flip your keyboard up, or you can actually, like so and just plugs in here, just below the floppy drive power cable. Just unplugs straight forward. Now, what you also need to do is remove the keyboard. Now, the keyboard itself is actually held in place just with a little ribbon cable. You can just see it in there, the little white section. And all you basically do is be very careful, obviously, because the hardware is quite old. Um, you don't want to break anything unnecessarily, but all you do is just pull it out gently and the green ribbon cable will come out completely and then you can just lift the keyboard away complete nice and straightforward so far so then what do we have this is obviously my accelerator board this is my, where my a hard drive would normally sit this is where the cradle is for my compact flash card the card's not in it just at the moment because that's where it would sit there and you've got your RF shield here I'll tilt it up like this so you've got your RF shield here um, floppy drive that's where your keyboard connected Expansion card, compact flash reader there, RF shield like I say. Now these are the two original ROMs and that's what we need to remove. Now it's quite straightforward, all you need is a flat headed screwdriver. You don't need to remove the RF shield at all. Um, you can do it with a flat head screwdriver as long as you're quite careful. And all you want to do is take your flat head screwdriver, it's not going to focus is it, like so. And just put it gently under this side here. Just pop it up. There you go, one ends up. Take it from this side again. Very careful. You don't want to damage your prize possession. Back to this side. There's no rush. Do you know what I mean? You don't want to damage anything. There you go. That's one original ROM chip out. Now obviously static ultra so you can damage equipment, etc. So take the necessary precautions if you so wish. But again with the top ROM, pop it out that side. Be very careful, you don't want to bend any legs, damage anything, Just have a slip screwdriver, damage any traces on the motherboard, etc. It could cost you a little bit. Pop it out, pop it out. It's maybe not the most professional way, but it certainly gets the job done, and that's the other ROM chip out. So, what I've got here is two ROM chips, replacement ROM chips if you like, 3.1 Kickstart ROM chips. Um, the camera's not going to focus at all, but the stickers on it says amigakit.co.uk um, or amigakit.com I should say. One of the stickers is half on, half off, so I'll just peel that off. In fact, I'll just peel the other one off. Have them matching, obviously a little bit. There you go. So that's the two ROMs I got from the amigakit.com website. It took a few days to come. I ordered them on a Monday, they came on a Friday, so a little bit longer than what I'd have liked, but do you know what I mean? They weren't too expensive and, and I've got them here now as well. So what we do is we go and replace these ROMs. Now the ROMs are labelled 391773 and 391774. Now the two sockets are actually labelled just above and just below them 
U6A and U6B. And what you want to do is have the ROM that says 1773 in it. You want to have that in U6A, which is the bottom slot down here, um, the closest to the front of the, the Mega, if you like. So if we take the 1773 ROM first of all, take it up a slot. And again, you want to be careful with this because you don't want to bend or damage any of these little legs. So what you will notice is the there's more holes for the pins than there are pins, if that makes sense. So what you do is you, you don't you, you make sure the back of the chips are sitting to the far right pin and there's going to be an empty socket or an empty hole if you like on each one. So you take the 773 ROM chip and just press, press it into place. Bear with me. Now I was going to say you just press them into place, but what I've noticed with this ROM chip, certainly the legs are spread out a bit wider than the socket holes, if that makes sense. So maybe you want to push them in a little bit, but again, you want to be careful. You don't want to snap or damage anything. So I don't know if this is just a one-off issue with mines or if it's a common thing. But just push them in a little bit. And hopefully they'll be the correct space now. Again, not yet. You're still missing quite a bit, actually. Gently push them in towards the centre. You don't want to push any force, just a little bit of a nudge. Hopefully they're going to line up. There you go, that's it there. I basically sat one leg in, I set a row of legs into this side and just, as I was pushing it down, just pushed them all in a little bit with my fingers as I went along. Make sure they're all sitting in their correct places if you like. And just push the ROM chip down, like so. Make sure it's flat in place. And that's that one in place. So then you take the... 391774 ROM, like I say I'm upgrading 3.1 chips, but um, 3.1 ROMs I should say, and do the same again with this one. Hopefully it's not such an issue with the legs on this one. Yeah again. Massively, massively actually. Oops, excuse me. They're massively um spread out. I don't know how well the camera will it's not gonna focus at all, but um let me have a look. Let's do a little focusing trick here. There you go. The legs are actually splayed out quite a lot, um, so I'll bend them back in a little bit like I did with the other chip. A bit of a nuisance, a bit of an inconvenience, but like I say, all I'm doing to bend them in is just pinching them along the chip like this. It's not an ideal situation, it just uh, means things take a little bit longer. So again, we'll try this one, seat, seat this one in. Go with the back legs first this time, or the ones up to the top. That looks like they're all going to sit in. Yep. And that's that one in as well. Nice satisfying noise when they sit in place. So that's basically it guys, that's it. As you can see, the two new ROMs. Kickstart 3.1 ROMs are nice and sitting in place. Like I say, you just have to be aware of the orientation of where you're putting them. The, three, the ROM mark 3917741 sits at the top, and the ROM mark 3917733 sits at the bottom. And uh, if you're like me, maybe the legs are spread out a little bit too much. I just nipped them in a little bit with my fingers, and then put one side in and just squeeze the others in a little bit more until it's sat home. And that's it, guys. Basically, put it all back together, and that's you with your Amiga 1200 now upgraded and running some 3.1 rooms. Thank you for watching.